The following will not work on GitHub, but most Markdown interpreters do support formulas with a latex-like syntax, as it is common in many Markdown dialects. Such as in Pandark Markdown, you can apply dollar signs to surrounded math environment. Everything within the dollar signs belongs to the formula only. There is currently no nesting of other HTML or LIA script markdown allowed. Use single dollar signs to define an inline formula, which will be treated as an ordinary text element. Use double dollar signs to indicate a formula block. This way you can also use multiple lines to define a formula or a set of formulas that will furthermore be displayed larger. Currently, we apply the Katex library for typesetting. If you are already familiar with Latex or MathJax as another alternative library, then you can start immediately to define formulas. If not, then check out some of the following resources. Sometimes it might be tedious to find the right command for the intended symbol. If you can draw it, then you should give Detexify a try. Alignment is a typical use case for formulas. The code below shows how this can be achieved by using ampersands, which are used as an anchor for the center of a formula. If you want to number your formulas, we recommend using the tag command to add or overwrite the reference number. Automatic numbering does not work well at the moment since the formulas are rendered within a web component, and it does conflict with the Lear script idea of animation, which we describe in a later part of this series. And finally it is possible to add some styling, but with Katex functionalities. This includes some basic styling, with the same inline CSS, as we had described it in section custom styling. Opening parenthesis. Can you spot the strange-looking German character as it? And you can mark elements as links with href and add images with the command include graphics. 